Uh, questions up to this point? Yeah, makes sense. Then, so what's the relation between thought and language according to Pinker? Yes, Kate? They're separate, right. They're, they're separate in the brain, uh, even though they, they have a linkage, in a, a sort of a linkage through the universal grammar, it's, it's, they're still separate, right? And the relationship between cognition and grammar? Yes, your name? Henry? They're also separate from each other, right. So it's, you know, it, I'm sort of there, there are two ways of saying the same thing. I mean, cognition and thought and language and grammar. And that, that's what's key here also is that he's really equating language with grammar, right? And so the, 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 the grammar that we have, these grammar structures are really what he's, he's calling the specific uh, language module. And what's the relationship between universal grammar and a specific language, according to Pinker? Universal grammar and specific language, how do they relate to each other? Yes? Your name? Natalie. Natalie. The language module? It's, yeah, so how, what, what happens with the language module? So you have the way of thinking and using the grammar, but you get an input from your culture, and then you translate that into your, your the, the language you speak. Okay. Yeah, and so, um, so, but the language we actually speak is, is it coming from, where is it coming from? It's coming from the language module, yes, right. So it's, it's the language module that gives you the language you actually speak in combination with uh, the, the, the words that you're hearing that are essentially just kind of filling in the words um, even though you, ha you already have a kind of grammar structure and, and the language you hear from your parents, it's filling in the words to fill in that structure that you're already getting from the language module, yeah, right? So, so the language module is providing the grammatical structure basically, and then the specific words of the language then come in from outside to, uh, to fill in that structure. And, and the language module is also, though, it's separate from the language of thought. That's not always clear in his, uh, in his exposition of his ideas that the mentalese is not the same as universal grammar, uh, but uh, you know, when, he, when he talks about this idea of language and thought being separate, I think that's really what he's meaning, that, that there's, there's this language of thought that goes on that, that's separate from the grammatical structures that we have, right? Uh, but, but that's important, right? That the thought and the universal grammar are, are separate, even though they're related, they're connected, right? There's a, yeah, they're, they're still separate, okay?